you're going to introduce Core Unlocker, the exclusive yes. from ASUS. Yes, Core Unlocker and Taboki 2, okay? Mm. Basically, Core Unlocker, as you know, or as you know, the, the original design, the original design was actually to go into BIOS and actually go into a series of complicated mm -hmm. configurations and you finally get your two codes to become a vocal or be able to unlash your hidden cache or L3 cache on some TPUs. Alright? And like you know, if you're unlucky enough, you may be getting a, a three code instead of a four code on your two code. Alright? In that instead that sort of conditions you will actually have to go to a series of tests and enable either this one or the other one, right? Enable code code third or code fourth on, on your CPU and you may, you must have enough in, uh, back, uh, technical background to be able to do that. However, on the ASUS board, you don't need those things anymore. You simply slide the switch, that's it. It will actually determine which ones are working and actually enable them for you. Which cores are working? Yes. Okay, once you actually detect any, any non working ones, you will actually disable it automatically. Okay? So you're actually going to find two switches down here. Okay? Two switches down here. One. This one is for Tawaki and this one is for Koan Loka. Alright? How you're gonna use it is basically switch it down to ensure that the light is actually going up. Okay? Once the light is going up, it means the switch is in the enabled state. Okay? However, okay, please do note that this doesn't mean it's actually enabled. Alright? This is only mean it is only meaning that the switch is actually switched to the enabled state. You you can you can still force disable this by entering BIOS and disable it. Alright? And once you actually load the BIOS default, you will actually you will actually go back and look into what the switch actually set and actually go back to the switch setting. Okay, so like you know, you, you can go back and forth either way you want. Okay? And core and local you can you can also you like you know if you don't want to use the switch and you don't want to by opening up the traces and you don't want to go into BIOS, you can still Okay, you can still enable it by holding up the number four key. Okay, the number four key on your keyboard while in it while powering up your system. Okay, this way you will also enable your four code automatically, of course. Without physically no. switching it. No, no need. Okay. All right. Okay, let's try to enable this at the same uh well by itself this time, alright? So now I actually set the core local to enable, okay, and let's power up the system and see how we actually get.